Hi Fluffs! Welcome back to our channel. Today I'm going to be talking about how I like to keep my Alaskan Malamute cool in the warmer weather. And I'm not going to be talking about the normal things that you do, like not leaving them in a hot car unattended during the day, or making sure they have plenty of shade and water, and um, not leaving them outside in the hot sun, because you guys probably know all that already. So I'm going to be talking about some different ideas that I like to do to keep my doggy cool in the spring and summer. And hopefully it will give you some ideas for your dog because these things can be used for any dog, not just Alaskan Malamutes. So let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to talk about are doggy ice blocks. And Danny used to love these when he was a puppy. They're super easy to make. All you need is a plastic container like this one. You fill it up three quarters of the way with water, put some doggy treats in there, and freeze it overnight in your freezer and in the morning you have a delicious cooling treat for your dog you just pop it out of the container and it'll keep your dog cool and as the ice melts your dog will have a fun little treat so Danny used to love those and he <laughs> actually used them as pillows when he was a puppy so yeah that is the first idea tip thing that I have for you guys and the next thing I'm going to talk about is walkies. So in the warmer weather, I like to walk Danny early in the morning before the sun comes up or later in the evening after the sun goes down so it's nice and cool for him. And I also do something called the pavement test. The pavement test is when you take the palm of your hand and just for a split second put it on the pavement to check whether the pavement is too hot for your dog's paws or not and the rule is if it's too hot for your hand then it's too hot for your dog's paws so you can either wait until the pavement cools down to take them for their walk or you can put little boots on their feet you guys know Danny loves his boots um, so yeah that is a another thing I like to do the pavement test and also, like if you're lucky enough to live somewhere where there's a lot of grass, I recommend walking them on the grass because it's way cooler. Unfortunately, there's not that much grass where we live. But where we used to live in Vancouver, there used to be a lot of grass and greenery and it was super dog friendly. Which brings me to my next point, sprinklers. So when we lived in Vancouver, because there was so much greenery everywhere, there were public sprinklers that would come on in the morning. And I would take Danny out for his walk early in the morning when the sprinklers would come on and he would walk through the sprinklers and that would help to keep him cool as well. Now, if you're gonna do that, make sure that the sprinklers are in a public area because you do not wanna be trespassing on other people's property so yeah you guys know Danny hates swimming but for some reason he likes sprinklers I guess because the water is like more of a mist so yeah that's another tip um, for keeping your dog cool in the warm weather and also when we lived in Vancouver there was this fountain in the park and in this particular fountain kids and dogs were allowed to swim in it so if you have something like that near where you live, then that's another thing that you can do to keep your dog cool in the hot weather. And again, make sure that your dog is allowed to swim in the fountain. Um, Danny didn't really like swimming in it, but he would like dip his paws in. <laughs> um, yeah, and that would help to keep him nice and cool. And another thing I want to talk about are kitty swimming pools. So Danny hates swimming, but some of you have left comments on our channel saying that your Malamutes like swimming. So if you have one of those Malamutes, you can get them like a kitty pool to swim in. You know, the ones that are like made from blue plastic that you can get. Um, make sure you put it somewhere that has lots of shade for your dog 
and fill it up with water and if you have a Malamute or a Husky then you can also put ice in the water because you guys know they're made for the ice and snow those types of dogs so they will love that um, I'm not sure if I would recommend it for like smaller dogs or dogs without as much like without as much fur because it might be a bit too cold for them but yeah huskies and malamutes put some ice in the water during the summertime only um, so the the ice pool I would recommend only in warm weather because you do not want to um, get them wet in the winter in the ice pool because you don't want them getting hypothermia and yes huskies and malamutes can get hypothermia so the ice pool is only a warm weather activity and the last thing I want to talk about in this video are cooling mats so Danny's actually lying on one right now and it has this like cooling gel in it that keeps him nice and cool and he also uses it in the winter <laughs> to keep cool so I will link that below for you in case you want to get one and I also heard they make like cooling vests for dogs um, that one I would recommend for more younger stronger dogs because I heard they can be quite heavy so Danny's a bit too old for that and also they make like these um, cooling collars where they have water on the inside and you put them in the freezer um, those ones like it would keep them cool around this area but then the rest of them would not be cool so I don't know about those um, it might be better for smaller dogs so yeah cooling mats cooling vests and cooling collars are all options for keeping your dog nice and comfortable in the hot weather as well so that those are all the tips that I have for keeping my dog cool in the summer and spring. If you guys have any tips, please leave them below for us. And um, now I'm going to tell you a bit more about the road trip that we're going to go on because you guys have been asking about that. So I'm going to move to another area because um, I want to show you guys some other stuff as well. So I will be right back. Hi everyone, I'm back. Um, so I wanted to tell you more about the road trip that Danny's going on because I keep getting comments on his YouTube and his Instagram that you guys in Toronto want to meet him. Hashtag Firmus, hashtag celebrity. Um, so he will be there in Toronto on the 23rd of April to the 26th of April so we're getting there on the 23rd and leaving on the 26th and I think one of those days we will be um, going to Niagara Falls and the other day we are just going to be walking around downtown so if you want to know where Danny's going to be just follow him on his Instagram which I will link below for you guys and we'll announce on there every day what we're doing on the road trip so you can come and meet him and pat him and take photos and stuff and I'll also have Danny's business cards which are actually just Polaroids of him and our cosplays so if you want one of those just ask um, they're free and yeah we hope that we will see you guys in Toronto and we're also going to a few other places like Montreal, Quebec City, um, Ottawa um, so yeah, just follow him on his Instagram and you can find out there where we will be so you can come and pat him. And now I'm going to show you some of the outfits that I am taking um, on the road trip because you guys keep requesting outfit videos as well. So I'm just going to show you a few of the things that I'm going to be taking with me. Okay, so this is one of the outfits. That I'm taking and I'm planning to do a kawaii outfits for walking your Alaskan Malamute video while I'm on the road trip. Um, this top is really really cute it's from Justice and it has a little fox face and tail on it and I love pairing it with this skirt from H&M Kids it just has these really sparkly polka dots on it 
And these are the shoes I wear with this outfit. I love this outfit for walking Danny because it is just so cute and adorable. So Danny looks less scary when I'm walking him. Um, this is a, another one of the outfits that I'll be taking with me. The dress is from Macy's Kids and it's got these really pretty butterflies down the bottom which I think is just perfect for the springtime. And these shoes are also from Justice. Fake fur, of course. There's no real fur on this channel except for Danny's fur. And they have this really pretty glitter on them as well. And then I have these bikinis and swimsuits that I'm taking because we're staying in some really nice hotels with nice pools and I'm planning to do a mermaid makeup look, accessories and swimsuit kind of thing so that'll be another video and I'm kind of nervous because I've never done any revealing outfits on my video but I just thought these swimsuits were too adorable to not show you guys um, so I have this white one here that just looks like seashells I'm not sure if I'll take this one I think I like this one better with the purple shells and this bottom this really reminds me of Ariel, so that's really cute. And then there's this one piece with mermaid scales on it. Um, it has like this one shoulder ruffle thing. And this is a tankini in the same sort of mermaid scale pattern. So we hope you enjoyed this video and we'll be vlogging and doing other videos on our road trip. So we hope you are looking forward to those and if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and follow Danny and we will hopefully see you on our road trip. Stay fluffy! Bye!